I think of the building as being the largest work of art on Nantucket. And to see it restored with such care and such artistry, to me, is a marvelous thing. But the preservation of the South Meeting House as a project has been going on for several years now, beginning with the work of the South Church Preservation Fund. sequentially and get down to the base layer with a chance of seeing what that base layer was originally like. And that was the basis on which all of our decisions have been made subsequently, the information found during that examination and the materials that were, were used in it. plastering the whole of the chancel, the uh, plaster that was used in the 80s was an appropriate material, so we're reintroducing a traditional plaster, which is head lime, on a lath substrate. Sitting behind this dome is the previous dome with a higher spring line and what we believe to be some original went trompe l'oeil on it, and we saved it and re -lathed so that we wouldn't disturb that work. decorating it with a trompe l'oeil pattern, which is trompe l'oeil just simply means deceive the eye. And the intention of the pattern was to create an architectural setting that gave a sense of classical decoration in the interior, but did it in two dimensions on the plaster wall. documentation is complete and we, we know what the pattern we knew what the pattern would be at that point the the skill of the artist comes in in two twofold the first step is to lay out the architectural patterns with real precision because if the columns are not vertical if it doesn't trick the eye into feeling that it is a stone-like interior that is architectural ornament it won't succeed but once the pattern has been laid out then the artists have to come in as artists and do the shading and the filling out of the detail and the ornamental detail so it really looks three-dimensional and tricks the eye into thinking this is a carved piece of stone. And that's a piece that's done in series, a series of layers. Um, the, the pattern is built up and the shadows are built up and adjusted as, as you go. And always looking for what's the light source because in, in ornamental trompe l'oeil, tricking of the eye, 
um, there are light sources that you have to make sure is consistent so your eye looks at the ornament, sees shadows in the right places, and, and you wouldn't necessarily identify where the light's coming from, but your eye would be tricked into thinking the light is coming from the source that you would imagine it coming from. This building is a sight from the harbor and a sight from Main Street that always stays with you.